My name is Bob Van Osterhout. I'd like to tell you about a course that we're developing through the Media Education Institute. It's called Perception, Fear, and Media, Roots of Polarization. Polls indicate that 60 to, 60 to 70 percent of Americans believe that polarization is one of the most serious problems we face today. I believe it's the most serious. We, can solve, we can't solve other problems if we can't work together. Polarization is fed by mistrust. We don't trust each other because we don't understand each other. We don't understand each other because we view our world through frames that don't overlap. Most of these frames are created by media, particularly political media. Many of us spend more time with media than we do with each other. Our sense of reality is increasingly defined by media. Media finances its operation by selling attention, our attention. The primary source of income for much of popular media is our time and focus. Selling our attention generates huge profits. We don't see any of it. The most efficient way to grab our attention is fear. Fear is the survival emotion. It narrows our focus on danger and sends a surge of energy to run or fight from threats. This urge to act quickly blocks our ability to see and think clearly. Seeing and thinking clearly is precisely what we need in these times. It's also what's missing in too many of our conversations. The surge of energy produced by fear isn't discharged by running or fighting. It's used to build tension. Tension draws our mind toward potential threats in the media that reports them. We have to know the horrific details of every tragedy, even though it happened far away and there's nothing we can do about it. It just creates more fear, which produces more tension. Tension becomes part of life. Fear becomes a habit. Obstacles to seeing and thinking clearly become structures in our brain as tension builds in our bodies. I call this fear-based thinking. Essential features of fear-based thinking are self-centeredness, a need for control and certainty, a tendency to put everyone and everything into broad categories, an adversarial mindset, narrow fragmented thinking, and a scarcity mentality. Each of these block our ability to see and think clearly. Most of the threats we face are produced by other humans, humans who see a different reality than we do humans who profit by grabbing our attention through fear, humans who don't trust us, humans who are stuck in fear and fear-based thinking. Fear isolates and separates us. We don't trust each other because we don't know each other. Belonging is an essential human need that can't be met by watching or listening to media. Media produces a sense of false belonging. What we see or hear on screens and headphones provides a temporary sense of connection that's never enough. Some of us know the characters in our favorite programs than we, than we know our neighbors. Some media messages tell, tell us that belonging is conditional, that it depends on how we look and what we own. A lot of political media messages promote belonging by exclusion. We feel connected through a shared aversion to other people or more accurately to categories of people. We distrust and even feel disgust and hatred for people we don't know and have never met. Conditional belonging and belonging by exclusion create more fear. We can be rejected at any time if we don't toe the line or keep up with changing expectations. A true sense of belonging is built on trust. Trust that's been lost because we can't get on the same page. Trust that's been blocked by fear. Trust that will elude us as long as we're stuck in fear-based thinking. How can we begin to trust each other? We gain trust through understanding. We can start by understanding how our view of the world and each other is limited, how perception affects emotion and belief, how it's manipulated to feed divisiveness. We can learn how media works. We can learn to identify the tools and tactics that influence how we see and think about our world and each other. We can understand fear. Can understand how to transform it into caution, care, curiosity, and concern. We can learn to recognize and deal with fear-based thinking in ourselves and others. Trust can be rebuilt. It's best done one person and group at a time. We need to learn how to connect with those who see a different world than we do. We need to learn how to create a shared reality that allows us to work together to solve our problems and enjoy life. 
These are the goals of the class we're offering. It's called perception, fear, and media, roots of polarization. There are six sessions over two weeks. Each session will take about an hour or so to complete. Sessions one, two, four, and five are done on your own time with opportunities for discussion in small groups. Sessions three and six are live with time with questions and discussion. For more information, click on the link below. I hope you'll join us. Thank you.